Well, I'm going to try for the uh, 1,200 yard milk jug challenge with my 243 Savage. Um, the target is in the shadow up there with the um, milk jug full of red water food coloring in it. I'm back here. See how it goes. Says I need to go up in elevation. Right about 39. We'll try it there. See what it, how it goes. Barely see that milk jug. A little low, but I was right in line. I think I hit level with it just to the uh, left.
Let's see here. That's that. Huh, I never hear it. At this point, I had only thought that I had hit the steel target once. Only after going to the target and reviewing the video footage did I realize that I had hit the jug on my second shot. That was done. Hey guys, so the recap, the um, 1200 yard shot with the, my 243. I had set up for that earlier in the day, figured out my yardage, flew my drone, verified the yardage, where I was gonna set up and all. So I had that all figured out. Later on I came out to shoot it and um, I shot the 10 times I never shot at 1,200 yards before with my 243, and um, I just I use the Strelok Pro ballistic app on my Android. For me, as long as you put in the correct dope, it will give you the correct readout. It has everything that you need to uh, um, put in for a successful shot. It has all the variations and. Uh, turn of the earth and everything great like that so I just went kind of cold turkey put that into my ballistic app and it gave me what it uh, recommended for the correct hold the wind had died down that evening it was about a uh, oh it was a somewhere like an eight mile an hour breeze wind earlier on it had dropped off so that i was getting a reading on my kestrel at that time of day right about three miles an hour so it was just a very slight breeze at that time really wasn't um a lot but initially when i shot that i did not think i'd hit it obviously at all as you see in the video I couldn't see my bullet splatter being that the target was in the um, shadow and I had only seen what I thought was the one spot um, that my uh, that, that I'd seen impact just to the right of the the jug that was my I believe third shot altogether so um, 
I fired it, and as you can see, I hit it, did hit it once. I had those three that were a really nice, tight, clustered group, um, but there was only one just shot it through the bottom, and I'll show you the milk jug here. The milk jug, if you look um, right there, right on the bottom corner there, that is where the 243 uh, impacted it. There's the exit uh, right there. So that was impact and then the exit. Now, right after that, I turned around and I shot at the jug with my 338 Lapua from 1200 yards. I tried it with the, my 338 Lapua and I ended up hitting the jug three times uh, within my 10 shots. I don't even think I shot the complete 10 shots. I think I may have shot like, oh, seven or something like that with a 338 Lapua. However, with my um, 243, I hit it the second time, hit uh, impact the second time on the milk jug. And that just gives a testament to the little 243. I, can, I have two of these rifles, two Savages, um, that are Model 10s. Both of them are in the 243. I have, I'm using these uh, basically as my trainer rifles. They are so much cheaper to shoot. They obviously have virtually no recoil. Um, I'm really impressed with how you can take the barrel off, put a new barrel on for $350. Um, spin yourself on a new barrel and off you go again you know if you when you lose um, that uh, uh, really really tight um, grouping so yeah that is um, that is what happened on that um, that attempt there that ended up being a success so I was really um, happy that that was uh, that turned out the way it was the scope the scope that I have on here is a Vortex Viper PST. It's the 6 to 24. Um, I really like the scope for the money. It is a very quality optic. The turrets, the, the gears inside, how it works is spot on. It is, I have run this up and down many many times and it is always right on the money for um you know setting it back and your stops and everything for the money the only thing i can say about this scope that i don't like but i have um see i have two other scopes as well i have another vortex but i have two night forces that are, of course they're a thousand dollars more than the scope um one of them is more than a thousand dollars more but the eye relief on this scope is a little bit tricky for me to get behind perfectly and get my eye lined up um, when it's all the way up to 24 power that being said though for the money this is a super good scope um, i'm very very impressed with it i can make very good hits with it every bit as good as with my night forces it just the eye relief is just uh, not not anything that I am um, I'm really too crazy about. The rifle is the Savage Model 10, 243. It is um, in a KRG chassis, um, and I have the Timney trigger that I replaced the Accu trigger with. Other than that. Um, it has a shillin barrel on it, one and eight twist. And I am really happy with how this gun is shooting. It is um, really enjoyable to shoot, it's fun to shoot, and it is incredibly accurate. So uh, that is the little review kind of of what it was the evening that I shot the milk jug challenge at 1200 yards. You guys have a good day.